Yes guys, welcome back to Seven Golf and welcome to Wentworth. I'll tell you what, I've got something very, very special for you in today's video. I'm gonna be getting the ultimate fitting experience down at one of the most exclusive golf courses in the world on the tailor-made tour track with the same guys that fit the top players all around the world. We're talking Dustin Johnson, Rory McIlroy. And once that's finished, I will have my full setup for the 2021 season, doing a full what's in the bag, which will also, for the first time ever, include a very special putter fitting, something I've never done before. I'm very, very excited about that. Before we get into that, I'm gonna show you a bit of action from the first round back I had after my 10,000 golf ball challenge and golf courses reopening. I'll be honest, it was mixed results. Out here on the ninth hole. So far, so good. Two over par. Not really had any real chance of birdies, but a few nice par saving putts. Uh, got about 150 into the wind here on the ninth. Uh, for my third, so let's see if we can make a birdie for these nine last Like that would be like what I'd hope is like around about 60. So if you're like a guy that is hits a wedge after, so your low point is after the strike, yeah. you can play any bounce you want. Yeah, but I can't. Not I'm more like here, a bit heavy. If you're like me and I'm I'm steep into my yeah. wedges, if I play the low bounce, the club would just get stuck, yeah, yeah, and, it, yeah. and it, I won't be able to get it out. Yeah, so yeah, I won't yeah. get the same strike and spin. Yeah. So if I've got more yeah. bounce, it actually helps me bottom yeah, yeah, out yeah. later in the arc. So this is a low bounce 54. Yeah. So if I was going to get a 54, it would be a standard. medium bounce. Yeah, I'll just go standard, standard bounce. Yeah. Yo, Mark Nine. They really don't think we can keep doing this. They don't think we can keep making hits about cameras. But I'm the cameraman. But I'm the cameraman. Stay crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I started on a 50 mil lens. Now I'm about to bag 50 mil yen. I can shoot all day, I got stamina. Turtleneck on with my camera, yeah. Stay creamy, man, that's what they say. Shoes laced up and I came to play. Yeah, I'm first team, I'm a superstar. They call me cream, like a good Jabbar. Yeah, you have to face it, let's get back to basics. I'ma take the shot like it's a vaccination. I don't have the patience, I'ma shoot right now. Yeah, we undefeated and you gon' lose right now. Like click, 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 swish. I can switch it up anytime like this. I'm a videographer and I'm on the verse. So when I shoot my shot, I don't miss. I'm gonna take the shot. So, little sneaky thing we found out today as well, which I had identified during my 10,000 ball challenge was the spin on my irons was very low. And you guys saw that without me yeah. saying anything, didn't you as well? So what have we done there? So you made a switch, first of all, golf ball. Yeah. Um, TP5X to TP5, just adds a little bit of spin for you there. Um, but also you're playing the P790s, which are a little bit stronger than, yeah. than, than your average set. So what we've done there is actually bent a degree of loft on them and we'll explore that but I'd expect to see your golf will have a little bit more spin stay in the air and increase your carry number at the moment it's just falling out of the sky yeah. which is why when you're playing with your friends you always think that you're shorter than them yeah, because yeah. It actually it's not getting to its peak flight so it's yeah. important that we did that great okay so hybrid you know I'm going to take the shot take the shot take the shot you know I'm going to take the shot take the shot Take the shot. Put it up and take the shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. You know I'm gonna take the shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. I develop film. Not feelings. Ooh, I develop film. Not feelings. Ooh, I develop film. Not feelings. Ooh, I develop film. Not feelings. So last year's one, the weight was way forward, so yep. the CG's further forward makes it a little bit hotter. More uh, playable now because the weight's come back to launch and spin okay. will come up. No, I just less of the green, I didn't know. Yeah. Through, so yeah. I'm just giving you that because what you've just explained to me there is how hot this is. Yeah. Creeps too close to the driver. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna give this one more of a home because yeah. 
it actually all makes sense now. So what, with there's, whether there's a trade-off for that out of the fairway or not? Well, I think that naturally, when you're off the deck with three wood, you're going to be more down on the shot because you've got to try and get it up in the air more. So if you've got less loft on your three wood, it's actually going to be harder for you to get it to the flight. So if you've got more loft to start with, then I think you'll probably find it easier to pick it up off the off the okay. turf anyway. Because there's just naturally, because I'm so shallow in my eye, it's like a horrible thing. I've yeah. always, that's the, basically the, and tips is my problem, is the three wood off the deck, really. That felt lovely. That went with 500 more spin, four yards shorter in the air, and pretty much the same total. Distance. What did it? Well, it's um, 240 and your driver pitches at 240. No, carry 240, the no, total, total, yeah. Total carry as well? 220. Okay, fine. So what this is this is what we're thinking is the one, right? Yeah. So we're ten and a half degrees. Upright side. Upright side, sim two. Shorter shaft. Why is it half an inch shorter? Uh, what is it? Yeah. Half inch short. Half inch. Half inch. Pretty mental, really. Someone of my size that I've never really tried half an inch short shaft. It was an interesting stat you told me about how quite a large percentage of tour players, yeah. even the big full size humans, are actually doing the same <laughs> thing, right? Yeah. I mean, um, you know, I think guys on tour just looking for a bit more control. Um, and consistency of strike. I mean, you've seen today that once you've had the shorter shaft, you've struck it a little bit better um, and you're actually gaining more speed from that. But the consistency of spin because of your strike is a, is a, is a winner. What have you found has been the biggest thing for you this year with the new Sim 2 range that the tour players have been, have been benefiting from? So I've seen a lot of like speed across the face. Um, the guy that hits it low heel to the guy that hits it high toe. The speed's very, very, very similar. Um, and also the spin reflects that. So it's actually a lot more playable this year. Um, and yeah, I would say that's the most most thing that we've seen out on tour yet. Nice. Now I'm, I'm seeing some of them benefits for myself as well, really, aren't I? Right, let's see where this puppy goes. <laughs> Come on, puppy. Where's the kennel? Right, the kennel is up there. You can see those two bunkers. I'm going to aim just inside the right one. This is what I need a bit of pressure, you see. Just need yeah. something to matter. OK, come on. Put some dramatic music in now. OK. Bad hit. We're going with wind off the left there. Yeah. <laughs> Single bend, that's, that's going to be balance, completely right? face balance, yeah. yeah. Um, and then we do different neck stars, so you can see that short slant, which I think you use, don't you? No, I usually use that. I've, always, I've got that right now. Because okay. I didn't have another one, but I always, always have the face balance. Right, yeah, so you can see that's that's our most toe hang putter. Yeah. I think there's we've got about 30 degrees on there, and then you've got one in between the two. Okay, yeah, so you've got like a completely face balance, yeah, you know, right. a, hair, a hair of face balance, um, toe hang, and then, and then that's your most aggressive toe hang. Yeah, it's a new, new sort of technology in there and, and um, some new concepts, so it's, it's, it's good to hear your feedback, really. Yeah, well, I've got a putter fitting coming up in a little bit of time, and you couldn't have given me a better link to the putter fitting. <laughs> <over the place. laughs> right, guys, James just told me, James from TaylorMade just told me, we have got yeah, we up to 20 to... putters for me to play around with here. This is literally heaven. We've got this putting studio. I'm excited. I've never ever had one of these before. I'm going to be interested to talk through my sort of quirky putting stroke that you guys give me so much stick for. My out to in. It seems to work for me, but I've never had this. And now, for the first time ever, Taylor made an offering custom fit, huge range of options for the first time on the range of spider putters. So, for the first time ever, I can actually find out if I can make this even better for me. So, I'm very, very excited to see. Um, uh, how we get on today. I've got a lot to choose from, but it's not just about the type of putter, it's what you can do. You can now change the loft and the lie, exact different lengths. I normally take about an inch off, but now I can get really dialed in on that. Um, and I'm excited to see the results. Okay. There's your ball in flight. Okay, nice. Traffic lights, blue is a robot, green is good, amber is okay, red is a bit dodgy. That's red. You got some red on there. <laughs> Right. Come on the reds! Right, so what does that tell us? So your stroke is nice and constant, but you play on good greens, you expect that to be good because your greens are quite good at Centurion. Yeah. If you play on slow greens, people might get a bit accelerated, a bit hitty on it. Shaft angle, you lean it a little bit back, 1.8 degrees back. Your attack angle is good, 1.77, so you're on the up, which is good. 
face angle slightly open, but we know that because you're swinging across it, so that's the hold off, yeah. if you like, scenario. You have a little bit of cut spin, but you know that anyway. And then your launch angle, you've got a little bit of back spin. Ooh, that's what we don't like. Danger. You're going to see it's basically chipping off the face. Mm. And then it hits and it loses a load of speed really quickly, mm. and then it dies off. So that should be a, a lot less savage yeah. and more of a linear line. So is, is, that, is that impact? That's where it lands the ground, on the ground. Oh, right. That's the impact. <laughs> so it's in the air for yeah. a long way. It hits, and then because it's got loads of spin, it checks. Right. So for you, what will happen is your speed control on a, you get away with murder on a fast surface. You mm. get a slow surface, mm. and that ball's really checking in. Your distance control could be an issue, yeah, yeah. or would all, be an issue. All makes sense. So the sensation for you is to change your launch angle and change the way you have your weight distribution. Okay. You're, you've got almost your weight back and wiping it. You want to feel that you're almost your sternum is in front, your logo on the shirt, your sternum, your mass is forward. You definitely don't want to be leaning back. I want to give you a putter with a bit of neck on it. So your face balance putter basically sits on the shaft line. Mm. I'm going to put this a bit back and see if that makes it any better or any worse. Okay, we'll go further back than that. Further back. Yeah, go on then. Now keep your weight forward. That's it. Good, good, good. Perfect. Great. Now putt from there. Awesome. Yeah, it felt like a nicer awesome. delivery. I, I'm not going to change the stroke, right? Mm. We're not here to change yeah, yeah, the world, yeah. but we've got to get, get you more neutral. Mm. And if you're like that, attack angle, then it's much better. If you've got the, literally loft off the putter to sort of one, you've cracked it. Okay. Right, Seb, what do you see in front of you? Some green numbers. I see oh, a zero board rotation. Welcome to your new putter. <laughs> right? So, face angle, pretty good. A little bit toe striking, a little bit open with the face. Rotation, I said, I, I hate the grip. So, yeah. straight away, I hate the grip. The most important thing is there, look at the rotation. Mm. So that's the first one that you've actually got. You're still the same, by the way. You're open faced across yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's the first putter you've hit that's got the rotations into positive. Mm. So by taking it down a degree, we're going to take the launch angle down to about three. Mm -hmm. We're going to get even more overspin. We should take some of the cut spin out as well a bit more, but we're going to find that the ball gets even better roll. That is the final piece of the jigsaw. That's the, that's the finishing off touches yeah. to say, look, actually, what is perfect? Okay, nothing in this life is perfect, but what is perfect here for you is to get that down a little bit, get a bit more top spin or over spin on it, and all of a sudden you're going to feel like that ball is rolling at the hole and staying true to roll. That's the key phrase, true to roll, and not doing funky stuff. No fun, no more funky stuff, basically. Quite like the funky stuff, but it doesn't make parts go in. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jason. Cheers, cheers, sir. I'm excited to get this out on the greens. Okay, now just before we do jump into the What's in the Bag video, as you know, Taylor made makes some fantastic major inspired staff bags, just like this one. The PJ Championship this year is no different. On screen right now, you can see the special blue number they've got for this week's tournament. I'm giving it away to one of you guys as a reward for staying this long in the video. If you want to enter, head down into the description. You'll find a link to my Instagram, TaylorMade's Instagram. Make sure you're following us both and leave a comment on my latest post with the bag and leave your guess for who do you think is going to be the highest placed team Taylor made player this week in the PGA Championship. However many of you get it right, I'll put you into a draw and one of you will win this glorious bag. Now, on to my full What's in the Bag for 2021. So here it is, the full What's in the Bag. What a bag it is, by the way. The new Sim 2 Taylor made staff bag. Absolutely love this thing. Uh, and here are all the clubs. You've seen the whole fitting now. We are waiting for that new Spider SR. Uh, the one I've been fit into. That is coming soon, so I've still got the original spider in there at the moment. However, first things first, I've now played a few rounds with these wedges. Uh, the high toe roars, absolutely love these in my regular 50, 54 and 50 degree lofts. Also got this one, the different, I've got a KBS High Rev 2.0 shaft in these now, very specific wedge shaft. I've never had a wedge shaft before and I have honestly found it very good for distance control in the few rounds I have used it. I haven't quite got used to the feel around the greens yet, but that's very unusual for a different wedge. So looking forward to getting cracking in with a few short game sessions with these bad boys. Uh, the irons, as you remember from the uh, fitting, have stayed the same, still with the P790s, although they have been bent one degree higher. So actually more loft, so 
Somehow though, that combined with the ball change, I'll come on to in a minute, has actually enabled me to get a further carry distance. Uh, I love these things. I was happy to stick with the same irons, absolutely. Uh, and I have found it has made a real difference in my ball striking. At the top of the bag, we've got the 19 degree Sim 2 Max Hybrid in a 19 degree. And this has got the Fujikara Stiff Beta 869 Evolution Tour Spec shaft in it with the Tour Velvet grip, which I really, really like. And for the first time, I've now got the same grip all the way through the woods, which is nice for a bit of consistency, really. Uh, the free wood was a massive club for me last year. This year, they've somehow managed to get it even better. This thing was fantastic. I had the 14 degree free wood last time with a little bit of extra loft. I've now just got a standard loft, but in 15 degrees. Still the Sim 2 Titanium um, with the speed pocket. This, I've got the hazardous RDX Smoke in a 6.0, 70 gram, low spin, stiff shaft. And then this thing, I mean, Every single year, you guys are going to think he's sponsored by TaylorMade, he's going to just say this. Let me tell you, every year I go to the fitting and I say to the guys, I really don't want to change my driver, I really don't want to change my driver. But I sit there, I try the new stuff, and every year I've found a way of getting better. This year, I'm in the 10.5, up from a 9 degree uh, Sim Max last year, but I had that 9 degree lofted up a little bit. This year I've got 10.5 degree, but also lofted up, and that has allowed me to get it further up in the air. But for the first time ever, they've taken a half an inch off my driver. As a smaller guy, I'm surprised I've never had that done before. Had it tested it before, it didn't really work out. This thing has been incredible. I have noticeably seen the ball going higher um, off the face, and that's great, apart from when I'm playing into the wind. I haven't quite figured out yet what to do into the wind, because it is going up higher, which is great on a standard shot, but in those tee shots into the wind, I've lost a bit of distance on those, so I need to do something on my setup, really. I'm very, very happy with it, to be honest. Uh, once again, same shaft as the three wood, Hazardous RDX smoke, 6.0, 60, 60 gram low spin to sort of counteract the changes we made. So that is the bag. I have got a different ball. So the ball I'm playing now, again, recommended by Sam at TaylorMade. I've always had a TP5X and I always thought that was because the X was gonna give me a bit of extra distance when I don't hit it as far. But he suggested I go to the TP5. And one thing I found doing my 10,000 ball challenge was the ball was not getting up in the air that much with my irons. This higher spin has got the ball up in the air uh, quicker and it actually increased the carry distance. So I'm very, very happy with the change in the ball and also give me a little bit more feel around the green. So I'm loving that ball. Um, and of course, this bad boy will sit on my Stuart X9 follow trolley. Haven't got that with me today, but you guys have seen that in recent videos. I absolutely love that thing. And that's it. The bag is complete for the year. I'm very, very excited. I hope you did enjoy the video. Drop a like on it if you did. Subscribe for more and we'll see you again soon.